Hello, everybody. Deja vu. I think I've seen you somewhere before. Oh, Sophia? You may well have. Earlier tonight? Yep. Yeah. No way. So this is uh, my stand-up comedy plug, but uh, it's more of a life story. When I was when I was uh, in, in Pop Warner football, 1972 to 74, 10, 12 years old, I uh, uh, Dallas sponsored us, so we were the Davis Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys sponsored our team. I'm not sure how much we got to hang out with uh, any other uh, Dallas Cowboys, but uh, they did sponsor our team, and uh, uh, down down at the local police station. They had a, a, a tin cup percolator for the coffee they had since uh, since they uh, renamed it since they renamed it the tin cup percolator because people were always stealing the coffee. Um, so sh short for per 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 perpetrator was perp. The way the cops say it, perp, like they are going to uh, throw it up at you. And in the way they say, Vic, which of course means victim, which a lot of times means the Vic is dead. I didn't, I didn't say, I didn't say, I didn't get my police knowledge from hanging around, hanging out with the Davis police. But well, no, wait a minute. I have learned a lot about cop stuff, hanging out with the Davis cops. I was never a cop, by the way. I, uh, by, by the book, they, they did uh, gave, gave through, go through the academy and become a cop, but I've always taken an internet, I've always taken, I've always interacted with the cops and the police station and the police networks at large. I didn't study the police because I wanted to be a cop, but because I wanted to, but I used illegal drugs. And, 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 and <clears throat> took part in illegal activities around drugs. And, so, and, by, and by chumming up with the cops a bit, I would find out what the other side was doing. There, there would be, you, they were on the other side. So anyway, but I, uh, I was breaking the law. I was a criminal by... By uh, by snooping on the non-criminal side, suppose supposedly the cops don't break the law. I know they do. By 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 looking at at the straight or basically non-law breaking cops, I I uh, I got I got I <clears throat> I could get. I could get the gimme or the lowdown on how they might bust me at, at one time or another around 1980. I didn't really want to be a cop, but about that time, uh, the, uh, the new old man got released, the Cinderella Man, uh, and today's Tom Sawyer. I, uh, and I told you before I got to land the new old man, just so, it, so it followed that I was today's Tom Sawyer and Cinderella Man. It was also about 1980. That I made myself the sheriff of Davis. <laughs> had you know, hadn't been one for a hundred years, I guess. So uh, and, and and had my uh, little little tin badge and uh, and my little blue jean outfit, and I uh, you know I'm 18 and uh, and I and I wanted to <coughs> and I went went about town professing I was the sheriff of Davis. Yeah. I was pretty settled into my LSD marijuana crank crack <laughs> meth and heroin. Uh, oh no. It's been 22 years, by the way, since I've used. And, uh, hey! And, uh, magic mushrooms, etc. I did have a good time part of the time, though. So, uh, so, I, so I walked around with my drugs and my schizophrenia, getting getting high as hell, and 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 being the sheriff of Davis. Other than that, though, I really want to be a cop um, and, and get and get I don't know executed. Uh, an, an, another, 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 another place I, I got police experience was by getting on TV cop shows telepathically. 
You have to, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a documented phenomenon, television telepathy. I saw an article in the paper in the 80s on it, in the Sacramento paper. Um, it happened, I, was, uh, I would be in Davis watching television, and Andy Griffith would, would cut me 